Unit 10 is on layers of the earth. You are going to use your Unit 10 whisk as, we, as you watch this video. You're going to use the word bank to fill in the blanks of the Unit 10 notes on your whisk. Feel free to pause the video or rewind at any time. Most scientists agree that soon after its formation, Earth was a large ball of molten rocky material. As time passed, the molten material cooled, hardened, and separated into layers. By studying seismic waves that are sent out by earthquakes, scientists have found that Earth is made of several layers that include the core, mantle, and the crust. We're going to start by talking about the crust. The crust is the thin outermost layer, about 100 kilometers thick, that covers the planet and floats on the semi-solid mantle. In relation to the rest of the Earth, this layer is about as thin as the shell of an egg. The crust is divided into two types, the continental crust and the oceanic crust. As a whole, the crust is made up of mainly the elements oxygen and silicon. The continental crust is made mostly out of igneous rock called granite and makes up the continents. Located beneath the continents and the oceans is the oceanic crust, made of a dense igneous rock called basalt. The oceanic crust is thinner than the continental crust. The next layer is the mantle. It is located under the crust and surrounds the core. The most abundant elements in the mantle are silicon, oxygen, iron, and magnesium. About 80% of Earth's volume is in the mantle, with a thickness of about 2,900 kilometers. Temperatures and pressure increase as you go deeper into the mantle. Temperatures range from 2,800 to 3,200 degrees Celsius, melting the rock. Based on the study of earthquakes and seismic waves, scientists believe that the mantle is a solid that has the ability to flow. This special physical property of the mantle is called plasticity. The mantle is made of two zones. The lithosphere is the thin upper part of the mantle. The upper part of the lithosphere melts to form magma. The uneven heating in the mantle causes the magma to rise and fall in a pattern. This is called a convection current, and it takes place in the lithosphere. The asthenosphere is the hotter zone found underneath the lithosphere. The magma found here flows at a very slow rate. The core is just below the mantle. It's the central part of our planet. The core is made of hot, dense metals that sank because of gravity after Earth formed. Iron and nickel are the two most abundant elements that make up the core. The core is subdivided into the inner and outer cores based upon distinct differences. The outer core is located below the mantle and outside the inner core. With temperatures ranging from 4,000 to 5,000 degrees Celsius, the iron and nickel are mostly molten, or liquid, and less dense than the inner core. The outer core is approximately 2,200 kilometers thick. The inner core is the very center of the planet and is under enormous pressure that pushes particles tightly together, keeping the elements in their solid state. Temperatures range from 5,000 to 6,000 degrees Celsius in the layer, in this layer, which is about 5,100 to 6,300 kilometers thick. You are going to continue with your whisk. First, use the word bank to make sure that all of the blanks in the Unit 10 notes part is filled out. And then you are going to complete the drilling into the Earth activity and true-false statements. 
When you've completed all the activities, you will submit your summary and questions with the, link, with the Google Doc links provided on your WISC. If you have any questions, please ask.